Hey guys, it's King Kazan 96 here with my reaction to the Champions League draw which took place yesterday morning. So, we go from the biggest game which I think to the one of the smallest games. The biggest game of the draw is Man City versus Real Madrid. So Man City at home the first leg and obviously Real Madrid at home the second leg. Uh, with that, with my... I'm going to have little predictions. It's both teams are going to win at their home stadium. So Man City will win the first leg, Real Madrid will win the second leg. But it all depends on how, well, obviously, goals scored and that who goes through. If it were up to me, um, I would have probably Man City go through just because it's an English team. And Real Madrid, obviously, ain't been doing the best this season. They are still joint first or second of La Liga, though. So they are having an alright season, but you know, Man City, I think, will just edge them out. Next game is Paris Saint-Germain versus Borussia Dortmund. PSG at home, Dortmund away. Um, same again, both teams to win their home leg. Uh, Neymar has missed his, his sister's birthday in February, which is the second leg of the Champions League um, uh, round the 16 leg. So I think Neymar will uh, try and miss the second leg. So he should be doing the job for PSG um, in the first leg. And then he'll miss, it, miss, his, miss the second leg for his sister's birthday. Um, Borussia Dortmund, they're a good team. But it all depends on what happens to their players during the January transfer window. So people like Sancho might be leaving. Royce won't leave. But they have got some uh, good players that could potentially be on the out at Dortmund. So it all depends really on what happens in the January transfer window, but I reckon PSG will go through that leg. So at the minute I've got Man City and PSG to go through. Next game, Liverpool versus Atletico Madrid. Liverpool at home, Atletico Madrid away. Atletico Madrid are uh, known for their defensive stature. Liverpool are more known for their attacking stature, plus obviously Van Dijk. Since the fight signed Van Dijk, they've been a lot better. So this is going to be a really, really close game, I think. So I think uh, Liverpool will go through due to the fact that they're going to win at home by probably two or three one, and the way and the way uh, Atletico Madrid will win at their home stadium, but Liverpool will just do enough in the first leg to beat them. Next game, Barcelona first Napoli. Barcelona, obviously, a good team. Obviously, they've got Messi and all the signs they've got are doing well. Napoli at the minute aren't in a very good team structure. All their players are going, probably going to go on strike. Uh, most of the players are looking to leave in January. So it all depends on who they sell in January for Napoli. But Barcelona should have enough firepower anyway to beat them. So Barcelona to go through them. And the final game is Bayern Munich versus Chelsea. So Bayern Munich uh, at home first, Chelsea away. Um... Oh, this is only six games, the other six I'll talk about in a minute. So Bayern Munich to win their home game, but Chelsea to win their home game. But hopefully Chelsea score an away goal to then make it Chelsea to go through. Because I support Chelsea, so hopefully they will go through. Same again, January coming around the corner. Chelsea's transfer has been, ban has been lifted. So it all depends who they sign. So the people who I think going through out of those games are Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, PSG and Barcelona. So there's the first stages. I'm going to look at to see at the next draw and then I'll come back to you in a second. So the next game we're going to go for the final English team in the Champions League, which is Tottenham versus RB Leipzig. So obviously Tottenham uh, under a new manager is in Jose Mourinho. I think they've only lost one game, which was against Bayern Munich in the last game of the group stage. And then you've got RB Leipzig, who topped their group. Um, same again, decent team in Germany. Obviously, not many German fans like them because of how well how well they're doing. Obviously, with Red Bull sponsoring them and all that all that um, political rubbish in Germany, where you have to have fifty plus one. So, um, same again, Leipzig. Apparently Werner's looking to move club 
i.e. apparently Chelsea are one of the favourites to sign him a good striker. Same again, Tottenham, um, it depends who they sign. Apparently Fellaini wants to go there. Again, you know, Mourinho and Fellaini, better love story than Twilight. So, you know. Um, but... <coughs> so, um, Tottenham at home first leg. Leipzig all uh, home the second leg. Same again, Tottenham to win at home, Leipzig to win at home. But I do want the English teams to go quite far, so Tottenham to win at that round. Next one is Atalanta versus Valencia. Atalanta had a good last three games of the group stage. Um, and then Valencia obviously topped um, the group which Chelsea were in. Valencia are a better team than Atalanta, I think. So Valencia to go through there. Um, Atalanta don't, don't really know much about these two teams apart from obviously Valencia are doing well in La Liga um, as well. So Valencia to go through them. And the last game of the groups, um, round of 16, is Lyon versus Juventus. So I watched a video the other day, and apparently Lyon aren't doing that well, um, as in their fans, their ultra fans, don't don't like one of their players, which is then causing all the other players, like Memphis Depay, to stick up for him. And um, obviously they're having clashes at the minute. So, Leon probably, I don't know, same as uh, Napoli really, where the players are looking to probably go on strike due to what the club is. is. So, it all depends on what actually happens until February. Um, you know, it all depends what happens. But uh, Juventus, good team, obviously, Ronaldo, Dybala, uh, Chiellini, Szczesny, blah, blah, blah. Could name every player who's good enough. Leon, I've got some quality players. But Juventus will edge it. So, for last take on who I think will qualify for the round, the quarterfinals. Liverpool, PSG, Valencia, Tottenham, Chelsea, Barcelona, Juventus and Man City. So they're the people who I think will qualify for the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And uh, we're going to go into some stats about what happened during the group stages of the Champions League. So, 96 games were played during the Champions League with 308 goals scored throughout the whole of the competition for the group stage matches, which averages a 3.21 goals per game. Um, most of the goals were scored between the 76th and 90th minute with 62 goals scored. Then the next one is 31 to 45 with 50. So, if it carries on like that, you know, some uh, quality games coming up. So I think obviously the goals will go up. and But it's going to be more closer than what happens. Obviously, you've got lesser teams in there where someone can be a team 6-0. Like PSG beat Calatasaray 6-0 on the final game of the, of the mat, uh, group stage. So there we have it, guys. So there's my predictions. Uh, leave a comment to say if you think differently or if you agree with me. And please like and subscribe to this video. Peace out. Bye. Once upon a time I was on the border Earning peas and living like a soldier Don't test me, I am harder I know people across the border